Hi Sagittarius, my name is JC of the Mindful Awakening and welcome to your December tarot messages. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be told every time I drop a new video. This December is filled with amazing surprises. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram, definitely click the description box below and click on my Instagram link. I am doing a giveaway a week for the next three weeks on my favorite tarot card decks and healing transformational oracle decks, as well as a crystal bundle package. The giveaway is open worldwide. Again, it's going to be one every week. The first one is already up and it's live on my IG. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to enter that giveaway. Also, if you're into daily vlogs, behind the scenes footage, and you just kind of want to get to know me a little bit better, I've decided that this year I'm going to participate in Vlogmas, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically a daily vlog every single day for the first 25 days leading up to Christmas. So if you are interested in that content, definitely stick around and subscribe to this channel because I have tons of videos coming your way. Also keep your eyes peeled for the what to expect for 2022 zodiac readings i'm going to be doing one for every single sign coming up in the next week all right sagittarians let's see what is in store for you for the month of december how are we ending off this year now for my sagittarians who celebrate birthdays in the beginning of december happy birthday i hope you guys have an amazing celebration Okay, Sagittarius signs, what do we need to know? Sagittarius signs, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? All right, Saggies, I'm not gonna lie, it's looking a little bit bleak for now. We still need to put, pull clarification cards and an extra card did fall out, so I'm gonna go ahead and honor that for your reading. We are starting off December with justice in reverse. Have you been done wrong? Or have you been participating in a relationship where it feels like you're doing so much more of the work and your partner just isn't meeting you halfway? Have you been taken advantage of in the workplace? Um, is your family not seeing eye to eye with you? Are you always the one trying to make plans with your friends? Wherever it is in your personal life where this is affecting you, where you are the one who's giving it too much to something, um, I really feel like you're catching your own feelings here. Um, and if it's you who has been taking from other people who have been giving too much from you, this is your personal reminder to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, this is definitely coming to the forefront in the month of December. Uh, equality in relationships and partnerships. Now we have here the Six of Swords upright as well. So whatever wasn't serving you because of an unequal give and take, because of an injustice that was done to you, uh, Libra energy strong here as well. Uh, you're being pulled away from this dynamic and moving into something that hopefully brings more stability and happiness into your life because this dynamic just was not working for you. Uh, and take it however that resonates with you. We have, following the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So as you're leaving, the thing that no longer serves you, the thing that was draining your energy, where you, where you were giving too much of yourself to this situation, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I think you are confused about where to go from here. Uh, you just like need a second to recalibrate and evaluate what's gone on, how you got here, and what you can do in order to promote more balance into your life. This could also be a work-life balance. What are your self-care routines? Are you a workaholic? Why is that so? These are questions that will resonate with some and definitely consider this as you move into the following year. After the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So even though you're being pulled away from something or something is pulled away from you because of unforeseen circumstances, things that are not in your control, there's a separation that takes place towards the beginning of the month that forces you to reevaluate an unequal energy exchange in your life. At the same time, even though an unforeseen situation is happening to create that separation, I don't think you're ready to leave the situation behind yet. 
and you have the ten of wands in reverse here so this is more about reevaluation and less about making big decisions now we also have here the high priestess in reverse so your intuition is clouded your third eye is blocked at the moment uh, maybe do some meditations to help unblock that energy um, you're not seeing something for what it really is there's a bigger learning lesson here for you and i think it's being it's just it's confusing because there's so many feelings involved in this and i think it's gone on for so long that now you can't even tell the difference between what actually bothers you versus things that you have reconciled and have totally let go um, and so I think the end of the month is going to be about getting clear on what those things are. What are your deal breakers in workplace and in personal relationships? And if those deal breakers have already happened, why are you still in the situation then? Why are you still there? Um, and, and it's fine. I'm not telling you to leave. I, it's free will. You can choose whatever you want to. But you definitely feel like it's not equal. So what are you going to do to promote equality? Now, the Justice card upright is clarified by the Two Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Death card upright. So definitely an end of an old cycle, beginning of something new, big transformational energy here. However, a choice still has not been made. You're still juggling two things, but I think the thing, the unforeseen thing is forcing you to focus on one thing. I think you did not choose something and so the universe made it so that you're going to be left alone to figure it out now. So because you didn't want to choose, it's giving you time and space to figure it out, even though you're not actively choosing, which is fine because at the end of the day with, with the Knight of Wands upright, you're going to be getting back to yourself. This time and space is going to help you to rediscover who you truly are, what lights you up and why, and it's going to help to cause some sort of transformation. Um, I can't remember if death was upright or in reverse. Regardless, it doesn't matter. The fact is transformational energy is here. Whether you tap into this transformational energy right here, right now, which would mean the death card upright, or later on in the month, which would make the card in reverse, at the end of the day, you're being confronted with areas that can uh, grow and expand and transform into something even better for you. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords upright. What is the thing you're being pulled away from? What is the unforeseen circumstance? Six of Swords is clarified by Three of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse, and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, for some of you, this is competition, arguing, fighting, bickering, um, annoying conversations, not seeing eye to eye with certain people that you hoped to be in partnership with, with the three of pentacles in reverse, could be workplace, could be personal relationship. It's causing some instability in your life, this bickering and this arguing. Uh, could also be dealing with an earth sign, like I had mentioned. Um, but again, this is almost a blessing in disguise. I feel like the unforeseen thing that's causing a separation or a break is actually working in your favor because the bickering and the arguing, it's too much and you just don't want to deal with that anymore. So I don't think you have the strength to leave the situation, but something has definitely happened to create space for you to breathe. Sorry about that. I think the video cut. Um... I was just saying you're definitely being pulled away from something you no longer want to be fighting so this is kind of like a blessing in disguise that some space was created between you and this person or this situation uh let's go ahead and clarify this ace of pentacles now what do we need to know about this ace of pentacles Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Hierophant upright with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. So here we go again with double clarification because we did have the High Priestess in reverse at the bottom, sorry, not the bottom, at the end of your spread for the end of the month. So this Ace of Pentacles, even though you don't feel like you know what you're doing, you don't feel stable at the moment, you're kind of just like all over the place 
really trying to get yourself back together, the Hierophant is perfect for this because it causes us to reevaluate our value, our value system, our belief system. It causes us to really think about what we actually want for ourselves and why. It's also higher learning. So if you're trying to learn a new skill or expand in your spirituality, this is a perfect time to do that. And hopefully if you do that, It'll help you to get back into your high priestess energy and really get back in tune with your intuition because it has been clouded by a lot of unnecessary BS. And I think you know that, Sag. Um, and I think it's been frustrating for you because you're kind of feeling a, a little bit out of whack. We also have here the nine of pentacles in reverse. So I understand you don't feel hot at the moment. You don't feel abundant. Like things aren't really going for you in a specific area that you wish it was. But this time and space away from this thing, this person or this situation is really going to help you get back on track. Let's clarify the ten of wands and the high priestess in reverse. Clarify the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands in reverse. And these cards are clarified by the Chariot upright, the Eight of Pentacles upright, and Judgment upright. If someone did a disservice to you or acted out in such a way where you feel like they didn't get what was deserving of that situation, karma's a bitch and they're definitely going to have to deal with that now. Also, you're willing to do the work that it's going to take, no matter how long it takes, to really watch your dreams come true. You're all about this manifestation energy, even if that means self-care, self-love, getting back to the basics, whatever it takes to build yourself back up again, you're willing to do that for yourself. And this is amazing. We also have Cancerian energy here. You might be connecting with the Cancer sign with the Chariot upright. This also means quick movement forward, which is amazing considering... You had no idea, like you were kind of like in a stagnant energy where things were kind of just happening and it almost seemed a little bit out of your control, like you didn't have a choice because again, this justice card was in reverse. So this was kind of out of your hands and it didn't feel equal, but with judgment upright, things are finally going to balance themselves out again. This is amazing. And honestly, that's attributed to your hard work. It's your hard work, your inner self-reflection in order to get you back on track. Beautiful, Sag. All right, can we get some final advice for our Sagittarius signs for the month of December? We have El Moria, awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Don't be afraid, Saggies. I think a lot of you are going through a huge transformation in life right now. Don't be afraid. Allow your intuition to guide you towards what matters to you most. That is what's going to feel most natural to you. Don't let the fear stop you from accepting your true destiny. I hope these messages resonated with you, Sagittarius, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!